Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. I just want, um, before I um, speak on the resolution, to echo your sentiments to the various um, uh, activities for the carnival season and also to congratulate the Royal St. Lucia Police Force for a job well done. Um, you know, despite um, everything, you know, the, the, the police was still able to take a wine, you know, and that was good <laughs> as well. You know. Um, but Mr. S Mr. Speaker, um, there's a saying that um, sometimes you have to blow your own horn, especially in the parliament, because you will not get the government, you know, some giving you kudos or, or expression. But I'm happy to see continuation in what we're doing, particularly <coughs> with professional services coming under the health sector. Because you will recall, Mrs. Mr. Speaker, um, when the Finance Act was amended, we included professional services with both the dental and other medical services falling on it, where bringing in equipment, they would not have to have paid any customs duties, Mr. Speaker. And I think that was a, a major step. Uh, in fact, in my time, I saw quite a few applications come in under um, um, dentists, um, of dentist, dental offices, um, other um, labs um, seeking in um, um, approval for to bring in some equipment. So I'm very happy. But I noticed there's this of, has a sunset legislation in it, um, and um, uh, um, obviously, when that time comes, we may have to come back to extend it because I'm sure as as we progress, you know, technology improve, improves, um, things change, and we may have to add on the list. But I'm very happy that the government has um, um, added um, that sector um, to seek value-added tax um, 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 uh, amendment to, to assist this sector. And so I thank you um, on behalf of the, the sector and for the fact that we continue in um, making these things available to our professionals. Thank you.